Hey everyone, what's up guys? I had to go live on my phone because I kind of lost my regular camera. So here I am, y'all. And I figured I'd use my laptop. I have a camera like I don't know if I like this at this angle though. Hey, what's up? That's good. I think that's good. Hey guys. I'm gonna go on my laptop so I can um Oh the light is bright. Good um evening. Cause it is definitely not morning over here, sweetheart. What's up with you guys? Hi, Jay. What's going on, man? You guys can hear me loud and clear. I got an external mic on here, so what's up, Keith? Thanks, uh, Showhag says he loves me. So, thanks, homie. Appreciate it. Uh, let's go on my page so I can actually read y'all comments on here. It'll be like Isabel is live. Hi, you guys can hear me good? That's good. Yeah, look, now I can read the comments. I'm gonna keep the volume off though. Hey. Um, hi guys. So I got, you know, I've been taking a lot of time. Um, just doing, we'll play some music too. I've been doing a lot of um, thinking this last day or so. It's been kind of interesting, I gotta say. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was thinking a lot, and I don't think that we always, um, what's up, Jamie? I don't think that we always, as human beings, what's up, Alvarez? I hope I didn't mess up your name, sir. Y'all know I like to play a little music in the back. I don't like it to be all. <laughs> So I don't know, since a lot of you are on like right now, like, um, I guess I should do my poem now, right? I got, um, which book is it though? So many books, so little time. <laughs> I have so many fucking books. Yeah, anyone who's messaging me while I'm on live, um, sorry, I can't speak with you right now. I'm a little busy. And you could stop messaging me, thanks. <laughs> and doo -doo -doo. thank you so much. Oh, I wrote it right here. Oh, I'm like looking all around. Hi, Keith, how are you? It's nice to see you. See, I don't like this light here because I can't see myself, so I have no idea what I look like right now. Maybe I'll put it up here instead. It always falls when I put it up there. Yeah, gotta just, gotta just bite the bullet on this one this time. Um. Listen, so hag, you keep acting like a fool and I'm going to block you. Okay, y'all got to get your shit together. Stop acting like a bunch of assholes sometimes. I'm just saying, son. I don't like that shit. I don't like when people be acting mad thirsty and shit. Well, I'm actually using my phone to live stream. <coughs> because I was doing some work last night. And I wasn't really out here. I was out in um, Huntington. And I... Uh, and I thank you, baby. And I left my uh, camera, so I gotta hit them up and be like, yo, where is this camera at? Let's do some. Let's just do some background music. Something kind of like chill. Do you guys wanna relax? Do you wanna do like cafe music? Thank you, Jay. I appreciate that, sweetheart. The light is blinding me right now, though. I gotta tell you. I guess I'll put some like. I don't. I don't know. Um, let's do like some drums. I'm feeling drummy right now. So I'm having such an issue tonight. I went and I um went to do my laundry and my dryer is like broken right now or it's not broken but it's not working the way it normally does put some spice girls on yo you're a fool 
and she just acting mad crazy right now, so I can't even deal with it. All right, I got some relaxing drum music. Need a crappy drawing of a pink bird thing? Ask Whoa. Your niece. Damn, that was like real aggressive in this commercial. I'm like, whoa, what? What? Huh? I don't even got my speaker. I'm gonna just use my laptop. You know what I'm saying? And I'll keep it like kind of low. I like to put a little something on. But I wrote, I wrote like two poems today. So we'll put that on. That's nice. Maybe a little lower. Oh, whoops. I turned it off. Cool. We got a good vibe going. I mean, it's kind of like weird, but okay. It's fine. It's shit that I can like listen to and think. Fuck, I keep pressing the wrong button. Okay. Hey, and what's up? I don't know what you think. I'm out here looking trash on live. Alright. Um. I'm gonna have to make my. What's up? What's up, Lou? My nigga Lou. Lou must not be working tonight. Cause you're the only one that never I have to um Dog and Panther, I check it out. And Poss, shut up. <laughs> you so stupid. I'm really good, Willie. Thank you for asking. I'm I'm actually using my laptop so I can see all y'all comments. I knew it. Yo, I knew dog that you wasn't a uh, not now, what the fuck? It's like, hey, by the way, while you're on live, your iPhone, your iPhone storage is full. Were you aware of that? Like, yeah, I'm pretty sure I knew that, but uh, th thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, guys. <laughs> she makes me laugh. This shit, shit is unpredictable. Let me share this to my page, too. This is so much easier this way. Post, bitch. Alright, so I guess let's get into it. This is some whack music. They gotta go, like, come on, man. Killing me with this right now. Friday? It's like deep sleep, calming music. Healing shot, yo, the healing chakra joints be scaring my son. He's like, no, mom. I'm not, I'm not doing this right now. Like, you're wildin'. And I'm like, no, no, it's good. He's like, no, no, it's not good. And I'm like, oh, okay, you win, kid. He be killing me sometimes, man. We got energetic background music. Let's see how this goes. New I don't like to do any of these ads. He's like, ma, chill out. You're doing crazy things in life right now, and I don't know if I can handle it. You know what I'm about to do? I'm about to have this, uh, let me put this on like a book or something. Let's see if this will work okay. <laughs> Don't fall. Yeah, I wanted it up a little higher. It's a little low for me. Sorry, I'm putting like, I miss you too, baby. I haven't seen you in so long. Is it even that long? Oh, this shit is too energetic for me. Hyped up. Space trip. This is crazy. I don't know. I'll put one of my favorite ones on. What's up, guys? This is one of my faves. It's like nice and relaxing. Alright, so. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Willie. I appreciate that. Um, that's good. I have to turn off. I'm sorry, guys. I just want to turn off my notifications because I got. I'm sorry, I'm like keeping y'all kind of waiting. I do have some poetry for you because people see that I'm live, but then they still want to um, contact me for some reason. I'm like, I'm kind of live right now, guys. Can you not message me even though I just saw you checking out my live? <laughs> Don't message me right now. Chill out. Settings. Okay. No. How do I do this? Uh, let's see. It's got to be over here. Message request, help, no, it's got to be the other side. Nope. I don't know how to do this shit. I don't know why, I did it before with no problem, but this time I can't really figure it out. Oh, good night, Willie. Yo, what's up? 
What's up, Cher? Can anyone, um, oh, go offline? Is that what I gotta do? Okay, done. All right, but can't, am I still on my page? I just, oh, it's good. I think I figured it out, guys. Thank you for your, um, help, I guess. And then I got my live here so I can see all your comments. Um, I'm just gonna check out these comments we got going on. Oh, if you guys love the poetry. Oh, I didn't remember. I'm sorry, baby. I've been so busy. Um, inbox me so I don't forget because I hate, I hate when I forget stuff. I got mad. I got a lot going on right now that's like, it's pretty intense. Look, look. Boom, put the volume off. Now I can see all your guys' comments. You know what? I actually might do it this way more often. I'm kind of happy I left my, um, thank you, babe. I'm kind of happy I left my, um, thing at home. We're like, zenning out today. <laughs> you guys are zenning out with me. Oh my god, it's so weird because I see myself talking. Mm -hmm. Let's see, let's see, see. Ah, it's so weird. I can't get used to it at all. It's like the strangest thing ever. And the feed is coming in clear. You guys can hear everything because I'm going to um, do this ting right now. This angle is so... Hey, what's up, Christopher? Um, what's in all comments? Is there anything new? Comments? No, nothing new. Okay. Yeah. Alright, let's do it. Yeah, I can't, uh, I don't know. This thing's being weird. This thing's being super weird right now. What the hell did I do? Oh my god, I turned off your guys' comments somehow. OMG. I don't know what I'm doing. Ah, like. It's alright. Hold up. I think I can figure it out. I think I gotta go here. Nope, that's to write a comment. What the fuck? Did I take it off comment mode? Oh, this is my little light. My little light. I'm blinding you all. <laughs> Up, I'm back. Alright, cool. Alright, and now I can see all you guys' comments on here too, which is good. That always irks me because I always want to like make sure that I'm I know what's going on. Yeah, I fit you know what? I figured it out. It just, for some reason, my phone wasn't swiping, and it's stupid. See, look. Oh, my God. There's all these fucking comments here. But I didn't get to see till just now. That always drives me crazy. Oh, you want to hunt some cheetahs? I got some sexy shit for y'all tonight. Um, And what I put at the topic tonight? Sex, relationships, you know. All that good stuff. But, um, yeah. I was a little inspired today, very feeling very creative, so I wrote this poem. <coughs> Sorry, let me uh, clear my throat. Let me clear my throat. <laughs> God damn, y'all remember that song? Uh, all right, I'm going to zen it out and bring it back real quick. Um, and I can like kind of, you can turn this off while I'm uh, reading this. Rhythm, the magic of that night, interwoven in the tapestry that is my life, I felt a love divine, my soul fire, moments stretched into everlasting timelessness. It was so good I could have died and been brought back to life. Hell razor, soul snatcher, wrist taker, dope dispatcher, come into my womb. I've made you a throne surrounded by soft pink walls and a warm drip, tightening my grip. In fact, perhaps, as my legs were shaking, his spear pierced a piece of my a piece of my essence, taken away but given freely.
creating a waterfall. These waters of life sprung from me. Kisses in the night. Forgotten music like a tarnished music box. Put back together and made to sing. My heart chakra opening. My higher heart vocalizing. Papi, don't stop. Dame mas. Drunk on the connection, a perfect reflection. All right. So, all right. So Hag is getting um blocked because he just said show your boobs. So, yeah, bro, you're fucked. Shouldn't have been a fucking creep. All right, guys, I'm blocking him right now. Block. Confirm. I'm sorry I had that experience, too. Damn, this block list is long as fuck. I just want y'all to know that my block list is strong as fuck. You saw me You saw me block him, right? Oh, well, did you guys like the poem? I mean, damn, son. This is really some bullshit right now. Fucking up my flow here. These motherfuckers are crazy out here, dog. This is the shit I always be dealing with, too. Like, motherfuckers just be mad crazy for no reason. Should be killing my life. Yo, what's up, Susie? What's up, girl? I miss you. I haven't seen you in so long. Are you coming to New York soon? Alright, yeah. Got some comments here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Uh, oh my god. This guy was saying some crazy shit while I was talking. How come you guys didn't warn me? Thank you, Jay. I appreciate that. I'm like looking through all this shit. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm gonna just delete all these fucking comments. Because this is crazy right now. This guy was a creep. Creep life. He must have been, um, whatever fucking country he's in must have been on the other side of the world. Because, you know, people be acting mad crazy over there. Like, do y'all see women ever or something? Like, I don't understand. And th thank you. Thank you, Christopher. I appreciate that. Yeah. I was feeling inspired. I was feeling really inspired, actually. So... Yo, you got us. New York is crazy right now. Cold. You got a damn look. I'm gonna give my own video a like, y'all. Ha ha. Oh, here we go. I gotta delete this shit, too. Delete. Delete. Do you guys know what it means when they say embed comments? Like, what is that? Look, look. It's little hearts and shit, too. That's so funny. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate your guys. Um, I appreciate your guys' uh, love. You guys make me so happy. I'm just connecting with my peeps over here, my family. Um, yeah. So I guess we should get into it, and then I got one more poem for you all. Yeah, you people that be acting too live up in here, um, you're gonna get blocked or deleted or something, so. Alright, let me check this out real quick. I'm gonna check that out. I'm gonna try it out. Maybe I should, um. Okay, maybe I should do that. You know what, Alvarez? Maybe I should do that for, like, you know, my book and stuff. That would actually be pretty cool. Alright, so yeah, I got a Snapchat. It's um what is it? I'll put I'll put my Snapchat um in the comments or I'll, I'll comment on your comment with my Snapchat after. Cause I don't remember all that stuff off um offhand. Alright. So bro, don't be trying to Mac on here right now. Like what are you doing? I'm from New York. Y'all be acting mad crazy. Get it together, guys. You know, you're better than this. Um, now, what I was thinking about today, um, I was thinking about this thing of um, female empowerment. And 
And it seems that in the world right now, it's almost like a wave of a female empowerment is happening. And uh, it, has, it has some positive and negative aspects, I'm noticing. And I love, because I love, I love seeing my sisters and I love seeing other women um, be empowered. And nah, dog. Anyway, um, I love seeing other women be empowered and I love seeing other women um, doing things with their lives or whatever. But there's like positive and negative aspects because when the feminine, when the feminine is unbalanced, women try to act like men and men essentially try and act like women and i'm not sure that that is the best way for us to go with this like think about it um no chick really wants a dude that's like bitch made and no dude wants an overly masculine woman i think that is really about um just balance balance within yourself and I was, it was just something that I had taken notice of. I was really noticing that, um, that yeah, there are a lot of positive aspects to this and there are a lot of negative aspects. And that also, to some extent, ah, oh, Jean is feeling it, or Jian. How do you say that, Jian or is it Jean? <laughs> um, but yeah, I just noticed that that, wasn't, that was a big issue. Yo, dog, you're right. He said the way people set up nowadays, you never know, and that's a fact. But uh, but from what I'm noticing, it's looking like a lot of people. Um, it's looking like a lot of people got this shit kind of fucked up, and I think that it's because there are a lot of people walking around with a lot of um, baggage emotionally and um, broken hearts. And like I started um, journaling again. Because I got an idea for three more books. So they're in the works now. Like when I get off this live stream, I'm going to work on one of my books. And um, yeah, and we could get it. So we could get busy. You know what I'm saying? I really have a lot of uh, ideas for a lot of projects. Y'all see me. I've been out here grinding. I've been invited to a lot of different like open mics and just I'm out here networking and you know just just making my waves out here in the world um and i feel very blessed because i have a very good support system and even if you don't have like a really good support system or you really should be focusing when you're trying to achieve anything in life you really should be focusing on the most positive aspects because that's the only thing at the end of the day when things get kind of rough for you that's going to move you forward like focus on your positive aspects yes my sweater has a hood it's just back why well, i need my hood on right now you guys be saying weird shit sometimes juan juan who's probably an agent because you don't got a profile picture um but anyway yeah so i was thinking about um that too that and you know what honestly um because i started journaling today i started realizing that yeah, that's what I'm saying. People are wild. Uh, he said, what kind of question is that? So, I don't know. <laughs> um, but I was realizing, I started journaling today. And, and I really haven't kept a diary since I was a kid. And I was just noticing that, that I have a lot of issues that I haven't haven't really spent time um exploring not anything real super negative not compared to what i've seen out here anyway but um yeah i just noticed that like you know what like i really truly believe that anything you want in life you should have anything you want and and not from an egotistical standpoint but no, I'm not hanging my hood over my shoulder, dog. Like, get your life together, or I'm going to have to block you, too. You keep saying stupid shit. Um, oh, now I lost my train of thought because this guy's being a weirdo. Um, but, yeah, I was thinking about 
people are crazy. Yo, Alvarez, I wish I could do mods on this shit. This is Facebook, so I don't even think they have that. Let me check. Now I gotta see if they have that feature. Because this shit is crazy right now. Nah, I'll just have to block him if he starts getting crazy, that's all. Um, But one thing I had noticed um, with myself is that I have a lot of... Uh, I have attachment issues. Really bad. And I had never noticed that before. Well, I did notice it. And I would joke about it. <clears throat> but like... You have to understand that like every relationship you go through, especially those major relationships and breakups, um, they really affect your psyche in the long run. And they really make you like not, everybody wants that connection, right? I think that we all in one way, shape or form want to connect with other human beings because it's a way for us to really discover ourselves. Anthony, don't act like it. I can't even with you guys today. This post, is, this video is crazy right now. <laughs> I'm trying to talk serious, and y'all motherfuckers got jokes all day in America. But uh, thanks for all the love, Anthony. Anyway, so I I realized that I have um. I know this is a weird night. Like I don't know, is it a full moon? Yo, Alvarez. I'm going to have to get you to fuck some people up, son. You down or what? <laughs> uh, that's my bodyguard right there. Fuck around if you want to, guys. He's going to fuck y'all up. Facts. <laughs> nah, it's okay, Anthony. I appreciate the love. I'm just fucking around. You're cool. Um, But yeah, I was just realizing that... um that I had some some things in my own heart because I don't believe, I don't believe, yeah. I don't believe that anyone's gonna ever stay. And even when they do stay, it seems like in the long run, the um, relationship is gonna go bad. And it's not so much that that's a bad thing, but it's just a human thing. Like we're all constantly changing and we're all constantly growing and becoming different people. And I don't expect, I mean like I am nobody's, I am nobody's keeper and I don't expect to be that kind of person that's gonna sit sit here and sorry about that, that was a little. Um, I don't feel like I wanna be the type of person that's gonna sit here and um and expect anyone to stay the same for me because i wouldn't stay the same for anybody i'm like the type of person that like i'm constantly changing and growing and uh, it makes me like in a relationship or whatever like i'm kind of unpredictable uh because i and i don't know if i'm like because I, I didn't used to be like that hey what's up jay um i didn't used to be like that like, I used to be more open, and I used to, like, believe people more. And I think what had changed was that I had been with so many um, people and had been in so many relationships. Yo, thanks. Thanks, Jay. I appreciate all the love, sweetie. Um, I had been in so many relationships, and I had been with people that really did not have my best interest at heart. Or it was just like, there was nothing you could do. Like at the end of the day, the relationship just didn't work out. It, even if it was a long-term relationship, which is not even, that shit doesn't even happen like that these days. So I just realized that um, sometimes the relationship just isn't gonna work out. And sorry, my nose is itching. And um, you gotta be strong and you gotta move on, but it doesn't mean that when you move on, you're not going to have these scars that are going to affect you. Um, maybe not for the rest of your life, but for a long time. Because at some point, you have to realize that you're hurting. and that, um, Or that you have trauma. And that you need to heal from it. And that's something that I had uh, begun to realize. And I think that now I'm really 
while I'm while I'm doing um, so much work in the arts, I'm starting to realize that this poetry and journaling and writing these books and connecting with these amazing people, um, it's gonna bring up a lot of my shit. And it's gonna make me face myself, so to speak. And I am unequivocally okay with that. Because I look at life, listen, my philosophy on, on like sex is basically this, like every, anybody I sleep with, I try to, um, I try to love them in the moment. Because I don't know if that person and me are gonna be anything tomorrow. That sometimes those moments are really fleeting. And sometimes you don't know if, you don't know, life is unpredictable. But I don't wanna be disrespectful because to disrespect somebody that you're like sleeping with and to just be fucking them to fuck them, um, to be just fucking somebody just to fuck them is just disrespectful to me. I wanna, I would wanna sleep with someone that like I have a connection with and that, and that even as a friend, like that I have a connection with and that I respect their character or whatever, even if it is just we sleep together that one time and it like never happens again. I think that that's really important um, because when you disrespect other people, essentially you're disrespecting yourself because aren't we all connected? You know what I mean? That's the kind of thing that, um, that's the kind of thing that I really think about and I just feel good that I actually had some time to slow down a little bit today and focus on um, some things that I really haven't had a chance to focus on. So that was really good. But yeah, I was thinking about that. And what else? I just was rolling that over in my mind because I think for all of us, that's something that we go through. John said, you have to know what you want and when it's not, you have to move on so you can attract and keep what it is you want. So in that respect, what I, my question to you would be, how do you keep just one person? If you and them as human beings are, are even on a soul level are constantly growing and changing I think that that is the major dichotomy that we're facing with this. Is that, what's up, Sa? Um, the major dichotomy that we're facing with this right now is that how the fuck does anyone keep one person? Like, how do you do it? And if somebody could figure it out, can they like let me know how to do it? Because I don't fucking know. <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie and pretend like I know when I don't fucking know, because I don't know. Um, and it's, and most of the time, I swear to God, it's not them, it's definitely me. Because I will get, like, bored, or they'll fucking annoy me, or, like, once I got them, I'm just like, I, I already had, I got you, so I don't fucking want you no more. Um, and I know that's kind of fucked up, but I, I mean, like, how are we ever supposed to heal if we're not at least honest with ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're not honest with yourself, what the fuck are you doing? Honestly. <laughs> Honestly, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, that's how I look at things, though. And um, I do want, eventually... You don't want me, nigga, I don't want you either. How about that? <laughs> because that doesn't work on me either. Yeah, I should, I should actually talk to some. I have though, and it just seems like, it seems like most of them just settled, the ones that I spoke to. There are a couple couples that you can just tell that they're soulmates. Um, but yeah, Alvarez, that doesn't like work on me because I'm, I'm weird like that never works on me if somebody doesn't want me I won't chase them but if they show like some interest then I'll kind of like I'll kind of like give a little sign 
and see what happens. You know what I mean? I'm definitely not the kind of person that's going to, um, I'm not going to chase no man. I'm sorry. And uh, if somebody doesn't want me, I'm not going to convince them to want me. I think that that's very childish and foolish. So I don't do stuff like that. Like, I'm not, I can't. I just can't. I don't know. Maybe it's a pride thing. But I can't. But I definitely am figuring out some things about myself that do not make sense. That at least I have the opportunity to be here and work on them. I <laughs> Yeah, because you should. Like, there should be a mutual attraction. You know what I mean? It should be that, you know, you're going to shoot your shot and see what happens. I agree with that. And I think that I always say that, like, friendship is, like, the best thing to build a relationship on. Like, I, that's one thing I did notice, that the people who are friends... It seems like their friendship would endure regardless of the ups and downs of their relationship. And that's pretty, that's pretty interesting from my perspective to see. I really like to see stuff like that. I think it's really interesting. Um, but yeah, it's just amazing. And you know what I noticed too? All right. Does anyone else notice this on their timeline? Yo, I got nothing but petty ass friends on Facebook that, um... That they be having me dying but like I honestly sit and wonder if people just post things for shock value like I sit and I'm just like are you guys really savages or are you guys kind of like hurt a little bit you know who hurt your heart bring that ash here I'll heal you because <laughs> I'd be looking sometimes and I'm like this is not you I think mostly people just be clowning but I'm like, this is not you as a human being. Like, please stop. They be having me dying. They be having me dying. I got the pettiest damn followers. I swear to God, you can go on my timeline at like 4 a.m. And you can just scroll for like an hour and you'll just be laughing the whole time. Because people are so damn petty. And just be talking so much shit. But it's like, if that's all you're doing, you're not really being productive. So, I really don't know what you're doing. Yo, I can be a sa- I kind of am a savage, like, like I am, but I'm not. I'm like, I'm like a gentle person with some savage ways at times. But, um, I think for the most part, hey, what's up, Tony? Um, I think for the most part, I'm probably not a savage. So, Alvarez said, I feel bad for even dissing a female when they're into oh like when they're into you but you're not into them you always have to let them down easy nah i be letting people know like yo the thing about men is if you give them like an inch they want like like 10 miles they don't want one mile they want 10 miles so with men you kind of have to be real straightforward and be like nah i'm not feeling you like you need to you need to go your way sir bye like Otherwise, they'll be on your body. And that's something that... That's just something that's just... Men are just like that. There's really nothing we can do about that. Um... Yeah. I'd be letting people know. I don't play that. I don't know. I don't even know where you're from. Where are you from, Alvarez? Are you from, um, New York? But yeah, I'm not even trying to date right now, personally. Like, I don't know. My life, uh, my dating life is very, like, up and down. Because I want a boyfriend, and then I give a boyfriend, and then I, oh, I'm a give. And then I get a boyfriend, and then, like, I don't want them anymore after, like, two weeks. So I don't even know if that counts as a real relationship. Ah, oh, you're in New Orleans. Oh, that's fun. I'm gonna have to come down there and check it out. Um... But yeah, I have, I, I have, that's why I was just like, you know what, girl, <laughs> up and down, giggity, ew, <laughs> oh, that was a good one, that was pretty funny, so I was like, you know what, I need to just take some time and kind of like fall back from 
getting like that close with anyone right now just so I could figure out myself because I if I do get into like a serious relationship like I would want to stay with that person um for the rest of my life but I want it to be somebody who is business savvy who is driven who sees the vision and who doesn't not so much because a lot of men um it's not that they'll try and hold you back, but a lot of men on my way. <laughs> Jada, you a fool. Yo, what's up, Pat? Um, a lot of men seem to uh seem to just like want to lay around and cuddle and have sex and shit. And I'm just like, I'm like, yo, I kind of got like books to write. <laughs> uh, homie, uh, you you gotta go home. Like, get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> I'd be like that. Yo, I'd be so tight too. And then they'd be like, oh, why you got an attitude? And I'm like, because you are in my way right now and I have like things to do. So you need to make some moves. You need to slide off, friend. <laughs> no, Anthony, I'll end up punching you in the face probably, honestly. Nah, we might fight a little bit. All right, I won't punch you. I'm really not that violent. We definitely gonna fight a little bit though. Um, I'm not gonna. Even, I'm not even gonna. <laughs> I just thought of some funny shit, but I'm not gonna say what I'm thinking. It's a little raw. Um, but yeah, that's the shit that I'd be thinking about as far as it comes to that. All right, so Alvarez, I'm gonna read your comment for everyone. It says my issue is all my exes wind up coming back and saying I was an amazing guy. Maybe because they change and grow, like you said, but they were always the reason it ended. So it's like, I don't even know what I've done wrong to fix it. it you just picking, well, for you, I would say you're just picking the wrong women. It seems like, <laughs> nah, I be choking them sometimes, you know, but they usually like it. <laughs> um... No, the problem is that you're picking the wrong women. And and I told you, like, women, we're, like, we're crazy, dude. Like, I, like I'm kind of happy I didn't come as a man here because I would have been very confused in life. Um, Because y'all got it rough because y'all are really straightforward and women are really, like, all over the place. Oh, yeah, I was talking about what kind of guy I would like. So, and, and I like, <laughs> you know, we are nuts. Um... I like men who are, uh, oh man, a driven man. Oof, Lord, Lord, a man that got his shit together and that's really uh, focused. That is the wave for me. Like, I want to catch that wave and ride it out for real. That's like, that's like somewhere I want to go. That's okay. Um, sometimes, you know, Facebook is weird and sometimes it posts your comments twice, so don't worry about it. Um, but yeah, but at the same time, like, like I've dated men who are like really successful. Like I've gone on a couple dates with them and they just seem very boring. Cause I kind of need like, listen guys, the kind of guy I need I am all over the place, but the kind of guy I need is probably gonna be somebody that's like business savvy and like kind of hood, but like not too, too hood. You know what I'm saying? You named your dick Tony Stark. Yo, you're a fool. Oh my God. Yo, your jokes are epic. And, um, oh yeah, and he's gotta be like well hung. And could go for like about five or six hours at least, like once a week. Those are um, those are my uh, requirements. I don't think they're really that bad, cause I don't really want somebody who wants to take care of me. I would want somebody that I could build with, really, or that already your <laughs> balls are Elon Musk and Bill Gates, bro. You're losing in life, then I'm good on you. I want like one ball to be like uh. 
Nas and like the other one to be Rakim. Like you got that? Like we are we are there. We are on our way, sweetheart. But Elon Musk and Bill Gates, ah, I might have a conversation, a couple conversations with you, but that's probably as far as it's gonna go. Oh, and if you guys are wondering why I'm looking over here, it's because I have the live stream up on my laptop so I can see all your comments because sometimes I can't see them. Yeah, but the thing is, when the, see, in Alvarez, the problem with, oh, I just want someone I can build with thing is that a lot of times people will take someone who, who's got nothing going on and they think a fucking job is building. They think having a job is building. And I'm just like, uh, if, yeah, if he's working at McDonald's and you're working at Burger King, what are y'all building? Uh, unless you're going to work and save and buy maybe a franchise, if that's what you guys are into. Thank you, Joshua. I appreciate that. Like, or a lot of people are like, oh, I'm a stripper. And I'm a stripper at the at the low-budget strip club. And uh, he's a drug dealer, but he only sells dime bags of weed. Like, we're a power couple. What? What, what are you powering? I don't... You're power... What? <laughs> like, I don't understand. It's like having a car with no gas. That shit is going nowhere fast. I was like, yeah. Because a lot of people... That's why I don't even like to say that sometimes. Because um, a lot of people got nothing going on. And then they want to... Uh, they want to pretend like they got more going on than they actually got going on. And I think that's kind of like weird. I think that everybody should just do what they're passionate about. Um, because, hey man, Kanye West spit a fucking song with his teeth wired, with his mouth wired shut. So, and he married the chick that he wanted, even though she's not that interesting to me. But he married the chick that he wanted. And he, he did a song with his teeth wired shut that ended up being like his biggest hit and put him on the map. So I think that, uh, you know, people can do whatever they want to do in life, but you have to stay focused. And one thing that I was thinking about is that, um, like, like, I think I'm going to go on like a two week cleanse and I think I'm going to, um, take some time and just make a lot of changes really fast because I really want to I really want to grow and sometimes to grow like you have to be willing to do what other people are not going to do and refuse to do like I have to be so on my P's and Q's and in the zone that nobody could knock me off of my path so it's so important it's so imperative for my life if i want if i want what i want i'm not gonna get it unless i decide that i want to be the master of my own destiny so i would choose freedom over i'll choose freedom over being somebody else's slave <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. Um, but yeah. Thank you, Anthony. You need some Isabel time. Do it. <laughs> You're funny. You know what, though, Jay? I'm gonna tell you one thing. Uh, cause Jay says, I want a female that can think for herself and don't need me to tell her what to do. Women are going to want a man that to some extent can give her some direction because I mean I don't know if I actually need that personally but there are a lot of women that want a man that knows how to give direction and it's not that she can't think for herself she'll show she got your back but um it's that that makes her feel secure and and yo, it's not easy in this world choosing to be independent and choosing to be single. Like, because as soon as you make that decision, you are all you got. I am blessed that I got my family, dog, to hold me down and to be there for me. Because honestly, <laughs> I 
Boy, you ain't got no damn Pepsi can. You walking around with a five-hour energy. She, she ain't got to work no damn throat muscles. All she got to know how to do, all she got to know how to do is work the tongue. Stop playing. Stop lying to these damn women. Nah, Anthony always has jokes like that, actually. And if he's making me laugh, that's why I haven't blocked him, like, ever. If, if Anthony's a troll, he's the, my favorite troll. There's a lot of y'all on right now. The five-hour jaw and the small joints that are, like, this, this big. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, um, that's just the shit I'd be thinking about. I wrote another poem. Let me see what I got here. Um, let me see what I got here for you guys. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Yo, y'all, um, I know. That actually might be the nicest thing I ever said. To you, anyway. I was, like, kind of falling asleep when I wrote this, so I'm not really sure it's gonna be my best, uh, you know, piece, but it'll still be really good. Because I don't think I write, I don't think I've ever written anything really bad but if it's really bad y'all let me know and i got um poem time yeah and i got some work to do and a uh, work is always good for me if i could find the dang poem it's poem time let me see what book i put it in nope this is where i wrote my goals out hey out here making moves in these streets sorry i'm like all the way to the side right now I'm really looking for this for y'all. And then I probably have to get off live because I feel like I'm going to wake my family up. Because I talk, like, really loud. <laughs> oh, man. Just out here living my best life. Did I rip it out? Wow, I was so mad at the poem that I ripped it out. I was like, man, fuck this poem. Rip this shit out this late what's up with y'all i agree but it's not even so much about goals like yo honestly it's about creating um a lifestyle whoa why did my shit freeze like that just now okay it reconnected i don't know good thing i didn't start reading it yet if it's acting like that y'all yo y'all i don't think i can find this right now isn't that the book that I wrote? I don't, know. I don't know what book I put it in. Ha. Huh. Knew it. Hold on. Sorry, guys. I think maybe I'll read it and put it over here. Ha. Huh. Oh. I think I found it. Oh yeah, this is it. Okay. Alright, we're gonna wait a second. Y'all... Well, thank you, Jay. I appreciate that. Alright. Um... <sighs> Giuseppe, I hate him so much. My boy just texted me. Ah, Actually, I love him. He's a great person. One of my great, great, great friends. Um, so there's no title on this. So I guess let's just, let's just like do a poem with no title right now. Um, allow your belief because your conscious mind on this daily grind is a master of deception Forcing you to seek outer validation away from cosmic inner peace. Everything you see with eyes wide closed felt in your heart first and mind being a slave of the divine. Secondly, is the, unc is the uncreate true reality you make. It's okay to breathe deep, allowing that vibration to flow. Bouncing between your bones, creating harmonies in angelic synchronicities. Life is but a dream. 
your master of this play, it seems, Dreamwalker. I don't know, guys. I think we'll do it one more time. I'll check that out. I never thought to do that, sweetheart. I'm going to check that out. All right. A lot of people tell me that. I think it's just like the poetry thing. I never thought I had a good voice. And it's just so funny because now people are like, oh, you can actually sing a little, you know, or you actually have a good voice. So, um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read this one one more time because it's really, it really gets into, like, consciousness and um you really have to listen to the words to understand the poem so i'll read it one more time like a little slower and we'll go through it so you guys can really get the message <clears throat> allow your belief because your conscious mind on this daily grind is a master of deception forcing you to seek outer validation away from cosmic inner peace everything you see with eyes wide closed felt in your heart first and mind being a slave of the divine secondly is the uncreate true reality you make it's okay to breathe deep allowing that vibration to flow bouncing be bouncing between your bones creating harmonies in angelic synchronicities life is but a dream your master of this play it seems Dreamwalker. Alright. You guys like that one? Some of these are probably going to end up in my book, honestly. How long have I even been live for? I feel like I've been on here for a minute. hot minute with y'all. Let me see. I don't even know. We've been doing this a while, guys. You loved it? Thank you, Anthony. Alvarez, you liked it? Oh, yeah. I'm going to always live my best life. You too, sweetheart. That's all that we're here to do. Honestly, I was thinking of calling it um, Dreamwalker or like Dreamscape. Because I deal with... Um, I study everything. Like, I study... Oh, y'all know I'm still on my Atlantis kick right now. Check this out. I haven't even read these yet. But, like, I read stuff like, um, like this. This is about Atlantis. And then I haven't started this one yet, but I'm really excited about it. It's called The Secret Book of Wisdom. Um, and I, I just, I'm really into, like, um, like the occult. I study a lot of the occult. I study a lot of different religions. But I think that the real information is more in um, the occult. There's a lot going on that there's a lot going on that is deeper than just your eyes. You know what I mean? And if you're a spiritualist and you start to really get into the work, you start to understand a lot more. Um, a lot more the way we're all connected and things are all connected in life and in the world. And it's almost, it's kind of like a spider web. It's kind of like a spider web. And it's funny too because me and my friend were talking about um, what was it called? That thing that they made, that thing that they made in, I don't know, Sweden or something. And it, uh, yeah. You know what's funny is I heard this one time. Okay, well, I'm gonna go back to the other thing. That reactor or whatever that was made in Sweden that they had like a big festival for and the first time they fired it up. It, um, it didn't work or whatever. And then the second time they did it, because they were looking for the God particle. It was like a bunch of scientists. And one thing that they happened, me and my buddy was talking, my buddy Giuseppe was talking to me about this. He said one thing that they happened to find out 
is basically that everything in the universe is connected. Yeah, the particle accelerator thing. And everything is connected almost like, it's literally almost like being in a cosmic soup. Y'all don't gotta worry about CERN though. Um, set up a Patreon account? Oh, okay. I mean, I got three books coming, so I'll check it out. That's what it's called, the Higgs a Bison. But you guys don't have to worry about that, because even if they had created black holes over here, every single one of your chakras is a black hole, so it's a vortex of energy, essentially, so don't worry about it. Everything starts here first, actually, because what you feel will propel you forward. And the thing is that your conscious mind and your ego, it's not so much that it's your enemy. It is to an extent, but when you choose to not understand things and when you choose to go, my ex is a black hole, so I've heard. <laughs> But when you choose to um to to let your ego run amok is when you start having a lot of problems. Like even now with everything I'm doing, I really try my best to remain really humble and to be like because you know what? I'm still growing and I'm still changing. And at the end of the day, although this mission that I'm on is about me, it's not really about me. It's about the people I'm connecting with because the people in your reality are what is going to essentially enrich your life. And I just like to connect with some dope people like my troll, Anthony. That's not really a troll, but I call him my troll. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's like stuff that I think about sometimes too. I'm telling you, me? I'm 28. How old are you? Yo, Alvarez, you went off you went off for like two seconds, homie. Where, where where the hell did you think you was going, son? We ain't done with this live yet. He starts talking about the good stuff and you disappeared, huh? But um yeah, so basically I just I'm your troll, <laughs> Isabel. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Um basically 42? Oh, okay. Uh, that's just stuff that I think about all the time, too. I think about that stuff, too, but I don't let anything scare me. I just told you, 28. Ah, I see. Um, it's just that you're in control of everything, so don't worry about it. You are a conscious creator. You're literally here. Uh, you're here with me because we created this moment together because you wanted it and I wanted it, too. Right? So, uh, anything, any scandals or whatever, anything you want to change in the world will never change. Thank you, Jay. Anything you want to change in the world will never change unless you change first. That's like one of the realest things Biggie Smalls ever said. Like, we got to change ourselves. We got to change ourselves. Because as we change, um, the consciousness of the world will change. And... That's just what it is. I mean, honestly, the world the world is going to a new level um, anyway. So, it's either you get with the program or you don't. That's just what it is. And whenever I get out of here, I am never coming back. This is my last time, y'all. And yes, I believe in reincarnation. But I, just, I don't believe in karma. I don't believe it. I do believe in karma, but I don't believe it the way other people do. I think it's a little more intricate than what people make it. Because um, sometimes as human beings, we always like, we take things and we tend to, nah, that was Biggie, dog. He said, we can't change the world unless we change ourselves. Tupac probably said it too, though. I'm not even going to hold you. Uh, karma, well, the thing is, I think people make things, 
I think people see things too much from a human perspective. Like sometimes you got to tap into your higher self. So basically karma would be, um, I kicked you in the knee and if I didn't get punished for it in this lifetime, I'm going to get punished for it in the next lifetime because karma kind of goes with the idea of reincarnation. I think that to some extent souls are trapped here um, in this realm and we keep getting tricked into coming back here. So now that I know that consciously, I'm not coming back when I go. I'm not trying to go. If y'all ever hear about me going and it was some suspicious shit, y'all better investigate because I'm very happy. I'm a happy person. But um, karma, karma basically, so that's the concept of karma. And essentially how I, um, how I look at things is that they're a little more intricate than that because you don't know why that soul yeah, it's not a song, though. It's just something that Biggie Small said. It wasn't in a song. They probably both said it. Um, it was something... Nah, I lost my train of thought. I hate that. You don't know... Nah, I remember. You don't know why souls are choosing to be here. Like, you don't understand everybody's purpose. So... Since everybody does have a purpose, they may, whatever reality that they're living out here, they may have chosen to come back and purposely put the blinders on and choose not to be conscious and not to be aware because their soul needed that experience. All of these experiences essentially become um, become part of the collective collective consciousness so you know a concept a lot of people believe in it's a collective consciousness um yeah so essentially you don't even know why most people are here we got mad deep on this dog on this live stream i was not expecting that i also was not expecting to be on this long i thought i would be on here for like 20 30 minutes um, <laughs> yeah, wait, how did it start? Oh, with the weird dude. Yeah, that was kind of weird. It's just one of them nights, dog. It's definitely just one of them nights. And that's very sweet, Anthony. Thank you. Um... But yeah, but then there's other people like out y'all. I was we have um a taxi driver in my town that's like really really religious, and he always hands me these pamphlets or whatever. Like I don't read them because I don't go to church. I think church is in church is in here. If you can't go to church in your heart, then what the fuck are you going to church for? It's always supposed to be something that's inside of you. Um. So basically, he always be handing me these plan pamphlets, right? He's handing me all these stupid pa pamphlets, and I'm like, all right, I take them. I'm nice to him. He's a nice guy. And he was telling me not to stress about anything in life because everything is predestined. And I go, okay, that's a, you know, that's a concept. I mean, maybe to a certain extent, certain things are predestined. Like, you chose to come down here in a particular form to have a particular experience. You could also, you could also get into a whole nother side of that and be like, oh, well, there are many versions of you down here on many different versions of Earth having totally different experiences and nuanced and varied experiences, but that's like, that's like getting too complicated with it, honestly. Um, that's like getting, going too far for the simple concept. So he says, oh, everything is predestined. And I go, okay. I'm like, okay. I was like, that, you know, in a certain way, that could make sense. But then he goes, but you're, you're still responsible for everything. Listen. Dog. If I'm down here, instead of being with Source and with my higher self, that means that most of me is not even here. This is just a shadow of who I really am. 
So how am I responsible for anything that happens down here? Not that I would want to be a bad person or whatever. What I would really want to do is channel more of my higher self and that spiritual like energy. I would want to be, become more in tune with that, you know, that energy so that I can understand and dissect this experience on a higher level. So, yeah, that's basically how I look at how I look at that. <coughs> it's our job on a human level, but all right, so people say that this all is a dream, like for real. So, if this is all a dream, then what happens when you wake up? Did any of this ever actually like happen? Do, is it real if you wake up and it's gone? Do you know what I mean? Or or is this just a shadow? So you're going to care about a shadow? <laughs> what if it is? I mean, they say that heaven they say that heaven and hell are in the mind. So you can make this experience whatever you want it to be. So people who are chasing dreams are chasing the real reality because you're creating whatever you want. It is a long ass dream, but source is infinite. The universe, God, um, the higher self, you know, whatever you guys want to call it, is totally infinite. I know it's so annoying. I'm not going to pull my nose right now. I was feeling like I was getting a cold or something. It could be the allergies though. Like I could just be getting older and getting allergies now. <laughs> um but yeah, it's infinite. So really the amount of time we've been here considering that time is infinite. Like, it really isn't that long. It's just very interesting to think about all these things. Very interesting. So I think about this stuff sometimes, too. That's my, like, other stuff that I think about. Other than, you know, being motivated, being positive, and, you know, things like that. I think about this stuff a lot, too. Yo, I think I'm actually tired, guys. And I have to work tomorrow morning. You know, Anthony, I don't think time is real either because um, it was created by people. So I'm really not sure that time is real. I mean, I know that every day when I wake up, the sun's rising and then in the afternoon, it, it, the sun goes down. Aw, I am going to go to sleep soon. We're having such a good conversation though, so I didn't want to like ruin it because this is a good live tonight. Y'all came through and it's a, I might start doing them at night then if everybody's up. We got our little, we got our little group. <laughs> All right, y'all. I think I'm going to end this live because I'm so tired. But thank you for sitting here and chatting with me, listening to poems, chilling. I very much appreciate it. Um, yeah, I know the time back and forward thing, though, it didn't actually used to be like that. That's more, um, Western culture that does stuff like that. Time could be a state of mind, keeping time. Yeah. Good night, guys. We'll talk about this next time. I think we're going to get into a good conversation about it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go to sleep and see if my clothes are finally dry. Cause y'all know my dryer is on the fritz and I have to dry my clothes like three times over just to get them to be like dry. It's so annoying. So I've been dealing with this all day. All right. You guys have a good evening. Thank you. Um, check out the book when you get a chance. Uh, definitely share the video if you can and um, check out anything I got coming on check it out tonight's keyword is time 
tonight. We have a lot of keywords tonight. I mean, we went through esoteric stuff. We went through <laughs> we went through spiritual stuff. We talked about religions. We talked about empowerment. We talked about sex. We talked about our dreams. We're doing a lot tonight, guys. Anyway, I love you guys. Mwah. Have a beautiful, beautiful evening. And thank you. I'll see you next time.